These guys think they're going to get fed, look. They're going to get fresh water. That's all they're getting today. Lord Bluey. <laughs> I got this as a wedding gift 10 years ago. Come with a dustpan. Still like new, shows you how often I clean. John brought me sheep, he brought me panels for making pens for holding them for whenever they started lambing. This one was damaged. I'm gonna put a patch on it. I need to bore them out slightly to put them through. And I'm gonna put it up and down and bore into it and make it all one again. To become one. Whoa. I almost forgot to mention I don't have any Loctite nuts, so I'm going to put Loctite onto the nuts. If you've ever worked with this stuff, I learned this wee trick. It's a semi strength. If, if you do put it out and it's like liquid, don't use it because it'll not take. Turn it upside down, it all settles to the bottom. Give it a shake, and it'll come out cons consistent. That's what you're looking. Nice to have a vase. <laughs> Don't try this at home, it will hurt. It does hurt, look. Like it's hot too. Do try it at home if you want a vice at home. I have a vice at home in the garage. There's no tools there. That's it done now. Yep. I think I was going to actually put one on both sides. You know, drill three holes, put them through. I've actually got six nuts. I'll maybe just do it twice. I think I'd... Uh, Double it up because, because of the way it is, it's split almost in halfway. It is split halfway actually, so we'll do that. Put two in anyway. That that was a square head, so when it goes into the wood, it can't turn. I'm sure you most of you know what I'm talking about. I rounded it the grinder. Um, now it mightn't work. Well it will work but it, it'll spin, it'll not work, as, it'll not spin up as tight. It'll, you, know, you know what I mean. Forgot to mention this hammer. Maybe I did mention it. It's hard to keep up with doing videos and people's talking about the current video they've seen and I maybe did it two weeks ago. It's definitely a recipe for getting confused. Any other hammer I've ever used, a normal claw hammer, this is more like a framing hammer, a bit more square at the head. And uh, there's been a few misses, not the hammer's fault now, but uh, it, it feels good. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check it out. Remember the Loctite, Pete? Remember to shake it after telling everybody else to shake it. See how I shake that? Doesn't you want to come out nice and thick? That's what you want. Like I say, this is John's. It's not a big thing to do. Um, one way of showing appreciation for getting them on loan. See.
four on the ground. I picked them up in the cool down. And yes, that is a wee note to myself. Right. I have uh, injected a bit of heat in by grinding, cutting and grinding the, them bolts off. Do it while it's wet, it'll help it cure if nothing else. If you do it when it's set, it'll probably work the opposite way. Yeah, boy, not how much wrong with that, apart from the hole here, but there we go. On the other side. Thanks, John. I appreciate your support and your generosity. Speaking of generosity, there's a couple more people I want to thank in this video. Once you get these in, obviously. From I started this channel, I've had nothing but positive feedback. People seem to be enjoying it, and some is wanting to help. This looks like a mess because everything's sitting over the floor, but you see these cabinets, all this stuff, fresh and tubes, and storing racks, and a pile of stuff here. Let me explain to you where I came from. Back in the days when I attended school, there was a school buddy called Roger. He rang me up. He had been watching the channel for a bit. He was reading out of garage and he wanted to on, offload some of his stuff that he didn't need anymore. But he, he knew that I could make good use of. He gave me a whole pile of stuff. I haven't even went through it to see because I just haven't had time. Thanks, Roger. And James, your son. Keep her in the field, James. And with that, I'll stick in a bit of a clip here where Connell came up and we got the gate finished for, in time for the Cookstown 100. We made up a bracket and we come up and again, using his hammer drill, we bored it in and uh, made it look sweet. It's looking close. Fixed. You have to say fixed. Fixed. <laughs> we also got the timbers in place too. That was a good job. Which brings me to this pile of stuff here. Such a mess. Uh, like Ivor said, burn pile 2.0. I think it is going to happen. It's definitely going to happen with that. I'll take some of the good stuff out of this for handiness. I run them round to John, he wouldn't take them back. He says they're mine. Thanks again. What do you do? I think I'm gonna make some more of them at some stage. Some stage, have to get all the other stuff done. Guys, thanks for watching. See you in the field. Bye. Bye.